Hello, hello everyone. This is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome to my channel. I have um, not filmed anything in probably two months. Uh, just life things getting in the way of crafting and not being home and stuff. But this is something I started on um, for my mom's 80th birthday. She turned 80 on Ju July the 28th, and I wanted to make her a journal that I knew she would love and enjoy and kind of represents who she is and everything. And she loves um, the reds and the, you know, these kind of colors. Her kitchen's in this color, uh, very vintage uh, look. So I made that up for her, but I also made another one uh, this one here I'm going to put for sale in my Etsy store, Mimi's Crafty Shop. So if you're interested, it will be available. So I want to get started. And um, they're both called the Vintage Farm. I used a uh, of of digitals in here. Um, TLC Creates, Miss Cog's Crafts, Sweet Pea, Curiosity, Epop, uh, Mary Berry Lane Graphics. Hazuzu, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, Graphic 45, um, Farmhouse Collection, Home Sweet Home, and Cartabella uh, Country Kitchen. And of course, I have some Graphic Fairy in there too. So let me get started on my mom's first. Okay. This one, uh, this is actually a, a, a milking cow that my mom, my papa had when they were growing up so she has this picture and she loves animals so um, I made sure to put this on the front and I thought it turned out really pretty I put some yo-yos I did some slow stitching some patchwork you know just kind of like patching things together kind of like a uh, quilting I did make my closure with a pair of my husband's jeans and I love this idea, and it was really cool um, how it all came together. I seen some uh, bracelets made up like this, so this is what gave me the idea at a craft store. Uh, anyway, this right here is a little boot that has a little kid's shoe that has my mom's um, birthstone in it, so she gave me that. And I just added some beads at the bottom. And uh, this, uh, some of this fabric is actually fabric that she had. And this right here was a shirt that she had at one time and she loves cats. So let me get started. Um, I wanted to show you too, I did a lot of these little uh, charms here with the milk caps. And these are actually Tim Holtz, they're really not vintage. I didn't have any of the real McCoy. Uh, the yo-yos and stuff. So let me open this up and show you you can this is removable um it can be taken off i just sewed that to there and you could actually put a different closure on here if you wanted to uh, so let me get started on this i have been so busy doing things and of course my i don't know what's wrong with my camera but anyway i did um my, poster board keeps moving around. I did some pretty fabrics on the edge, um, did the ruffling with them. Uh, some of this stuff I've made prior to uh, doing this, like this collage here, I made this up a while ago. It's just one of the little cow that she had too. And there's just all kinds of ephemera in here. Uh, the vintage uh, farm look. I had so much fun making this. I really, really liked it. and love this uh, digital, I mean this, um, line here i think this might be not for sure which one that one is i've got so many different things in here Isn't it pretty that's graphic fairy and uh i love this it's so pretty I did a lot of sewing on the edges added some vintage papers to everything this right here uh represents my papa his name uh, is Jesse or Jack, uh, whichever one he went by. But um, Daddy's farm, he loved a farm, he loved a garden. 
So I kind of um, had this picture of him, which I think he's such a handsome man back in the day. And um, then this came out of one of those old Sears and Roebuck and it showed the plows and stuff, the hand tools that, you know, he might've used. And I like this came out of um, those uh, magazine that I have that's vintage. I never can think of the name of it, but I just love their, the paper in it. It's so pretty. This is just a little envelope that's got a window in it. Love to add those to my projects. They're fun to do. Did a little collage uh, snippet here with some um, buttons and just got different pictures in here. This is like a pocket that I actually made out of uh, a coffee filter. So that was cool. I like the way that turned out. And then this is just some uh, pieces of fabric that somebody had pieced together and I just kind of made a little collage of it. Let's see what this is. Okay, X238. This is a sign that my mom had uh, by her house that her and my stepdad live in. And I love this um, hymnal. It says, I love to tell the story and um, look that up. That was something that she absolutely loves, that verse, and I should have wrote it down before I started doing this, but I didn't. And there's some come out of a vintage embroidery magazine. It's a vintage paper there. I love to incorporate vintage in my stuff. Here is a quilt, piece of quilt that we had made for my mother uh, back, gosh, 30 years ago. Um, a friend of ours that lived next door, she was an elderly lady that loved to quilt. And she made this up, and, and as time wore on, it kind of got um, washed too many times. So uh, I inherited it, and so I cut some of it out to put in Mom's book. And this right here uh, is just like a little collage I made up, and I love that little cap on the front. I thought it was so cute, and I put this right here like an ear tag, 352 in there. More vintage papers. And this is real cute. Uh, my mom actually uh, made this for my grandma. My granny is what was her name. And I, I thought it was so pretty, so I copied it. And it says, Mother's Day, nothing much, but I hope it brings cheer. When I tell you that I love you, Mother dear, Judy. So that was really cute. And I did a quilting stitch around it. This right here is actually um, part of my ancestors. Um, are all of it is and this is my great-grandmother and just uh, something that I had and I'll put it in here I just tea dyed it up and stuck it in here and this is my granny when she was a little girl her name was Edna and I absolutely love this let me see I think my book's not quite right there okay isn't that cute I just put a little tag um, Made a little short tag out of it. I don't know what happened to my... And this is some of it. My mother loves uh, Red Barn, so I try to put some of those in here. I love this picture. And I put a yo-yo there. More really vintage pictures and a collage with the rosette I cut up. Other side of it with another vintage. And uh, my mom doesn't uh, journal, but... She loves journal books, so I know she's gonna love this. We were gonna have my mom a party um, when she turned 80, but because of all the craziness that's going on, my um, brother was got COVID and, and that pretty little belly band, little goat on there. And my sister had had surgery on her knee replacement. So it just didn't work out this summer for us to do that. But, uh, it's okay. We'll hopefully, maybe, eventually get it in there. <laughs> it's terrible to say that, but, um, it's just, you know, things have been so crazy and hectic. But I'm planning on going down to see her uh, to, in a couple of days. So, oh, I can't get this back in here. Come on. Uh, anyway. Beautiful paper, that's the Graphic 45, I think.
but um, that was a file folder. I love this paper right here. I think this was from Artie Mays. So pretty. This is a picture of my mom and my stepdad. His name was James. And I think they took this when they were um, up in Washington, D.C. Uh, back in the, probably the 90s, maybe. This was some paper that he had that he worked on, and so I put it in here. That's another um, milk cow. That's what mom said her name was, milk cow. I said, what's her name? Milk cow. And this is a jar, I mean, a tag I made up. This is actually my grandmother, my great-grandmother, my grandmother when she was young, and then my um, granny and my papa there. And this is a, what is in here? This represents mom in her 40s holding Ashley, which is my daughter, a mom in her 50s, mom in her 70s with Duchess Anne, which is her little, uh, um, oh gosh, Yorkie that she absolutely loves, and she loves all animals. But this right here was a union uh, telegram that my Aunt Audrey sent. I think this was around my mom's, when she was born, so, um, she was real close to her, and uh, she was in her 20s when my mom was born, so they, uh, she was always kind of like a mom, second mom to my mom. And I'm trying to go through this fast. I did put this in here. It's one of those uh, rings that, oh gosh, I can't think of the name of them, but it is of the vintage um, feed sacks, and I had that. And of course, I overdid it like I always do. Here's some cute stuff. Um, little, oh, this was actually sewed all together. It says, never give up. It's an upside down, um, uh, what do you call those? Not index cards, but Rolodex. And there it had Margie on there. So I thought that, that was cool. It's on a piece of paper, um, book paper. And this was something my mom had that had her name on it. I don't know where she got it from. But I just love this farm scene. Isn't that pretty? And this came out of a um, children's book I think my mom gave to me. This is my granny and my papa. Does he look sharp there? Love this picture of them. And that's my mom when she was probably about 14, 15, I think. My Aunt Anne and my Aunt Jan. Jane, I mean. I just love that picture of them. They're so pretty in their 50s outfits. This is just another, this is part of my Papa James's um, paper that he wrote on. This is a little picture of my mom and she was a little girl with her dog. I made this up on some textured paper. I love the stack of the farm animals. I think that's so cute. But I kind of overdid it, like I said. Um, I want everybody to kind of add some stuff to this um, so she can take some of it out. And this is something I made up using some die cuts. The little jar, and this is my stepdad, James, and that's his many names that he had. He liked to do the thumbs up. And this is actually a card that he gave my mom. And, um, years before he passed away so um, I just kind of wrote on it and stuck it in here too it's just a copy but she wanted it in here and this came from junk uh, junk sisters and they uh, make up some really cool stuff and I had gotten this from them so I put this in here because I love the colors of it and um, I added some of these key ring um, things here and just uh, put, I don't know if you can see that or not, uh, used my, oh, what do you call those things, the Brothers um, Label Maker, and put some little light, um, farm and vintage and pig. This here is of my pop, my stepdad, James. He actually was a chief of police, and so I thought that was kind of fun to put that on there, your ticket, you know. And 
more vintage papers, another little collage I made up on an index card. This is something I made up too of me and my, my siblings with my mom. And I just put some pictures in here and I thought she could add a more updated one here, but this is actually my, all of us when we were little and as we got older and this is her grandkids. And of course she has more now. But we enjoy crafting together. We have so much fun sharing our projects with each other. This is something I made up. It's like a little bag, a paper bag, you know, one of those bags you can probably not tell them where I got it. And I just put um, little stuff in here. And then this is something too that my mom had uh, made, she had had this on her table for a long time, and these are actually some vintage pictures of her family. So I just made a little small copy of that and stuck it in here. And then over here is me and my mom us out shopping, and then up with little Duchess Ann. I love these pictures of us, us having so much fun. And this is from Epop. This, she has these little um, Rolodex cards with the little ephemera and stuff you can put on there. And I made this up one day. And so I added it to that. And it says, handmade by Margie Jo for my mom. And I also did this up. It's kind of a little collage with the index card. But I just love the vintage paper. And that kind of reminds me of feed sacks. So. Anyway, that's my mom's, and here is the one that I will have for sale in my Etsy stores. This is a vintage farm. Yo-yo's up here, more of those little milk um, caps. Some more stuff that I did a little collage there with the little yo-yo, but you can see the, the beautiful um, fabric that I used. Let me get this open. I have a bad hand so I have a hard time doing stuff but on this one too it's the same thing if for some reason you if you bought this and decided you wanted to uh, use a different closure you could this comes off but I think that's really pretty on there but this looks good by itself um, again I did a lot of the um, what do you call this the ruffling here is some vintage buttons some pretty ephemera and that's I love that um, graphic 45 paper that's one of my favorites I I couldn't wait to get some of that it's so pretty and there I did the same thing and you can see that on there did up another little collage my only thing is is my uh, ruffle here is shedding a lot <laughs> I made this up and did kind of like a little card with it. I like doing the different layers. And this one has a little bit more of a fall theme to it, the colors, because the Graphic 45, the farm collection, was kind of that way. So um, I kind of went a little bit more of fall. I like that. That's so pretty. And... Um, which I think is appropriate for this time of year, but I love fall colors all the time. I love sunflowers, um, real big on all that. Some more papers. And I tried to put some ribbon on all my little um, paper clips. Love some vintage paper there. And this is cute, Mr. Buckeye. And then this is some vintage ledger paper. I'm hoping to um, try to be a little bit more industrious about getting things done. These are actually some postcards that I got from my mother. Uh, my sister gifted her with some of those one year for her uh, Christmas present, and she gave me a few of them. This is, comes from a topping, vintage topping book. And I did up a little collage here of buttons and stuff. And this is a cute little picture I did on an index card. Love that again. 
that and that's that um, ideal magazine I think is what it's called put some linen um, broidery linen down on this and I just kind of sewed it down on there and make, this is one of those little vintage seed cards I don't think they're really vintage but I think I can't remember where those came from I think maybe Target I didn't actually get them there but I think my mom got some this turned out so cute I love belly bands but you know I a lot of my stuff it seems to be um, a lot in the book but you can actually take a lot of it out and then if you'd like to journal um, you know it's easier to journal that way I have a lot of pages in there you can actually journal or the back of the camera so there's a lot of things you can journal with there more of that typing paper another one of those vintage postcards well, I don't know if they're really that vintage but they're so cute And this is one of those little window envelopes um, that I tea dyed up and did some, what do you call it, um, lace dyeing on it. And let's see here, let's just go back. More of that vintage paper and another collage I made up with more of that. And this is actually really blue bonnet seeds in here that came from the Mayborn Museum here in Waco. Um, I think they were giving those away one, t one time when I took my granddaughter there. She loves to go there. We always nearly go there about three or four times a year. She just loves it. But I know one day she's probably gonna outgrow all that. My grandsons used to like to go there too, but they're getting a little too big for that now. Another one of those pretty um, index cards I did up. And these all come out. And then, did this up, it's really cute. That's a my mom's little cow back in the day. And then here is another one of these. I thought I put two of them in there. <laughs> you never know what I'm gonna do. I'm not for sure how I had that. But we're going to stick it right here, I guess. I don't know. That's not where I had that, I don't think. I think I'm going to put it right here. I'm just going to lay it in here. This is a pretty card. And this is beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous? I love the colors of that. I'm getting excited about doing some... Um, I usually do, uh, what do you call it, Halloween journals. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that done this year. I'm kind of disappointed. Oh, I love this. This little collage, isn't that pretty? That just, oh, well, that good. That's a bandana. Some more cute stuff. This is just a little thing of papers I made up. There's some, um napkins but anyway i usually last year i made some really really cute file folders these are some little flip ups i made up you can write on that and another little collage and some more cute ephemera but i don't know if i'm going to get that done um like i said i've been having so much trouble with my hand it's harder for me to craft now than it used to be but I might get it have surgery um, around Christmas so hopefully um, after the new year oh I love this paper right here isn't that pretty oh my gosh it's so pretty um, I will be getting uh, some much needed relief that I can start back crafting more because I love to craft, I love making stuff, and I want to start making some some kits up and some fabric kits and some you know different things like that I want to do. And 
So I thought, well, maybe I can start working on that while I'm, I'm trying to get over my surgery. This is so cute. There's another flip up. And I made this up, it's just like a little collage up. That horse, and I kind of made it go with that. I love this little girl. She's one of my most favorites of every, anything that I ever do. I love her. I could put her on every journal I do. I don't know why this is moving around so bad this time. I think I have, I don't have it right. I've forgotten how I set my stuff up. Oh my gosh, I'm dragging out. This is taking way too long. And that's a quilt that I put in there. And that's a flip up. More cute stuff. Oh, I love this paper. Sunflower. This is so pretty. I think this might have came from my aunt. She gave, she loved, uh, uh, actually she was a very good seamstress and she did a lot of sewing. She gave, she's like 86 now and she gave my mom a lot of fabric. Um, and so my mom gave me some fabric and I have these little, uh, things on here too. These little key, um, things. I don't know what those are called. And this also came from that Junk Sisters. And this right here is so cute. I made this up and this is a glassine bag and I just filled it with goodies. Did a little stamping on there and some watercoloring. I don't know what else is in here. Anyway, that's cute. Love this lady. I could just make her on all my journals too. She's so pretty. Here is just a bunch of music theme, um, hymnals. And love that picture that come from Miss Cox Crafts. Some more hymnals. I think this might have went right here too. And this is something else. This came out of a crochet book. I love those old crochet books. They're so, 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 so good to use. And this is out of the Graphic 45, which I love this line right here. It's so, so pretty. A little belly band there. I love this. I thought this really looked good together. I don't even know where this came from. Another little cute thing from the, um, oh, I can't remember the name of that one. Uh, Home Sweet Home, Graphic 45, Home Sweet Home. I did some embroidery, um, sewed it in here, and thought it turned out cute. <laughs> More ephemera pages from an old book. This is a little um, coffee filter I made and put my mom's cow in there. And then here is some ledger paper that I got. And I love that, it's so pretty. I think it came from Vermont when I was up there with my husband. I went shopping, oh, I had so much fun. And another little pocket here with my ancestors in there. Just more ephemera. I love that paper. And then this is another one of those um, postcards. So anyway, um, like I said, this one's gonna be for selling my Etsy store, and this one's going to my mom's. Whoops. So thank y'all so, so much for watching and hanging out with me. I know this is really long, but I'm so sorry. And anyway, y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. Mm -hmm.